Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick video on some of my favorite colorful eyeshadow palettes. Now that the weather is slowly starting to get warmer and people are thinking about putting more color into their makeup, I thought this might be a fun video to do. I know rainbow palettes were really having a moment last year, so I have a few to go through with you. I'm going to show you the palettes in order, in my opinion, of ease of use with the formulas, just because I know color can be really intimidating for a lot of people and some of these are a little trickier to work with. So I figure I'm going to start with the ones that are easier to use and then work my way into the ones that you need to be a little more careful when you're using. So first is the ColourPop She's a Rainbow palette. This was one of their pre-curated BYOP palettes that came out last year. This is the most literal rainbow palette that I'm going to show you. Now, if you haven't tried ColourPop, they have a really nice formula. It's, they're pigmented, but they're not so pigmented that they're hard to use, if you get what I'm saying. A lot of shadows, you use them and it's really easy to go too far. These are a little more workable in that you can really build them up or if you mess up, it's easier to fix than maybe some of the other palettes I'm gonna show you. The biggest downfall for some people is not a big deal to me is it does come with some pressed glitters. There's only three out of 24 shadows, but I know a lot of people really don't like pressed glitters. And honestly, if this whole palette is just too much for you, they do have, I mean, these are all singles that you can buy separately if you wanted to make a smaller curated palette for your own, but ColourPop in general is a brand that I would recommend for people who are especially beginners when working with color because they're pretty easy to work with. I did look on the ColourPop website and this is out of stock right now, but you can still get the individual shades on their own. You just can't get them pre-curated in this palette. My next palette is my BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette. This is, again, another very bright palette. You've got your pinks and purples, blues, greens. This bright blue right here is one of the most unique blues in my collection. You've got a couple of more neutral colors. Like you have a gold, this kind of like taupey bronze shade. Some of these lighter pinks I would consider more neutral, but overall it's a pretty colorful palette. They're fairly easy to use, you can use them dry or if you really want them intense. I like to foil them, that's the way that they look the best. Now they, oops, I'm trying. hopefully I'm not blinding anybody with this mirror, I'm trying not to, but. The biggest con to this palette is there are no mattes in it. So if you're someone who really, really hates dipping into different palettes for mattes and shimmers and things like that, it's probably not going to be the palette for you, but if you're like me and either one, you don't care if you go in between a few different palettes or a palette and a few different singles, or if you just don't care if you use mattes at all and you're fine creating an entirely shimmer slash metallic look, then this is going to be a good choice. They have a couple other like color stories in this I don't know, like galaxy themed collection they have. There's the Supernova, which I did have, but I decluttered, not because it was bad, but because the color story was a lot more muted. It was much darker and kind of muted. It wasn't as bright as I like, so I did declutter that one. I also have the Solar Flare, which the only reason I didn't include that in this video is it's extremely, as the name might suggest to you, it's extremely red-orange, like 
well, not red, but pink, orange, yellow toned. Like there's not a lot of variation in the color, which is why I didn't include that one, but that is a really good one. I, I really love when I'm in the mood for like a bright metallic, like warm look, that's the palette that I like to use. But so these are, as far as ease of use, they're pretty on par with ColourPop. It's just, as I said, there's no mattes. So if that's something that is really important to you, you might want to skip this one. And then the next three palettes I have are from Juvia's Place. I'm going to go kind of in order of easiest to use and also least colorful of the colorful. The first one is the Deuce. This is what I would describe as a colorful palette with some neutrals. There are a lot of other palettes I could have included in this video that I would consider neutral palettes with some color, but if the neutral outweighs the color, then to me that's not really a colorful palette. This one I think of as a colorful palette, but it's got a couple neutrals in it. So, but this green is one of my favorite. I love pairing it with any of these pink shades, this purple shade custard, which I am convinced this shade is called custard. This shade is called berry mousse. I think somebody made a mistake somewhere and yeah, that just, that's just a little aside. That's always bothered me every single time I've opened this palette, but this people, I've, I've seen people describe this one as green. This one looks more silvery gray to me, but there, this pink one has like a lilac lavender pink shift to it. This is just like an icy pink this coral color, like this is probably my favorite color story that Juvia's Place has. There's just something about pairing green and pink that I really love. Now, Juvia's Place is pretty pigmented. This is a brand, it's a black owned brand. So she, I'm assuming she formulated these for darker skin tones. So some of these colors are extremely pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. So that's why I'm putting these more towards the end of my list because if you don't really know what you're doing or you're not comfortable or confident, these can be a little trickier to work with. Now this out of the three I'm going to show you, this is the easiest one to work with in my opinion, even though they're pigmented they're more pigmented than like say the ColourPop shadows, but I still don't think this palette in particular is super hard to work with. So I really love this one. The next one is the Magic Mini. Again, you have really colorful shades. Like you have this Zakia shade is this, it doesn't look like it in the pan, but it is this super bright orangey red. This Kogi, I think I'm saying that right, is like a really deep raspberry. And then you have, you have, again, a couple of what I would consider neutral shades, like this more creamy tan color. This is a nice champagne -y gold, a mid-tone brown. But for the most part, there's a lot of color going on in this one. Now, this one, again, while not the most difficult to work with, it is more difficult to work with than the deuce just because these colors are a lot more vibrant but they're also the shimmers are also oh, it's got all out everywhere as long as you're using something like a glitter glue or you're using your setting spray on the shimmers i don't think there's as much of a problem working with them you just like this shade ife is this really dark blue purple i mean colors like this or Yajide, which is a dark navy blue, even the Zakia, those are colors you're really going to have to be careful with. Overall, I don't think it's the most difficult to work with, but it definitely does take some practice to make sure you don't overdo it. Then the last Juvia's Place palette that I'm going to show you is the Zulu. Now this is 
a very colorful palette. The only what I would consider neutral shade is this brown right here. I got it. I mean, look at those, that green, like teal green, this grassy green, this turquoise. Like I basically got the palette for those three colors. This one is, you really gotta kind of know what you're doing when you're using this one. They're very pigmented, very bright, but they're also very beautiful. As I'm looking at this, I'm like, I really need to use these palettes more because it barely looks like I've touched them, but Juvia's Place makes a really good eyeshadow formula. I do have one more of their palettes, the Festival, but I didn't feel like including it because while it does have some colors, I don't feel like it's as colorful as this. I don't know. I just didn't feel like including that one because these are their more colorful, in my mind, palettes, but the formula on these is so nice. And then my last colorful palette is this Colored Rain Safari Rain. Now I know this was limited edition. I'm going to have to find their Instagram post. I believe they are going to restock it like one more time. It's coming back because of, I think some Instagrammer or something was raving about it so much that they had such a high demand for it. They're doing one more like limited edition run. So if this is something that interests you, I would definitely check it out because this is a little more of a muted colorful palette, but it's got maybe what I would consider two neutrals. It's got this clay shade and this one called Matriarch, but this Lioness shade, it's very flaky, so you have to be careful with it, but it is the creamiest, like most beautiful gold shade If I can find it, I have um, a picture of me wearing it and it just looks so nice. This Tigra shade is that same formula. It's this super bright orangey red. Then you've got this whole roll of, whoa. Then you've got this whole roll of, roll. Why do I keep saying roll? Row. You have this whole row of greens this Amazon Basin is that same creamy texture. Like this one is a more neutral shade. It's more of like a brownie taupe or whatever. I don't know how you would describe that. Bronzy taupe, something. But these shadows are so beautiful, but they are they are the most difficult to work with because they're so pigmented. This is another black owned brand. So again, she's making these formulas for darker skin tones. So there's going to be more pigment in them. And if you're a lighter skin tone, you might have a harder time working with them just because it's really easy to pick up too much color. But if you want to check out, I know Kitch Snitch, Kitch Sitch, it's Kitch Snitch. I think it's Kitch Snitch. Cat from Beauty News. You know who I'm talking about. She, the reason I got this palette was, oops. The reason I got this palette was because I watched her video on it where she did, I think, seven looks with it. And that video convinced me to buy this. Um, why can't I remember her name? It's not Nappy Headed Jojoba. Kinky, Kinky Sweat? Kinky Sweat? She had another video she, another video um kinky sweat also had a video where she did a, a bunch of looks with this palette i am so happy that i got this this lioness shade like that gold is in my top 10 shades in my collection and part of the reason i haven't been using this is because it's limited edition and i know once i use it up i can't get it again but i really I don't want to buy a backup because I think that's being a little excessive, but I really need to start using this more because it's so pretty. Oh, I love this palette. So yeah, those were my six favorite colorful palettes. 
that I currently have in my collection. I'm sure, you know, if I did this video in six months, I would have some different palettes in there maybe. But as of this moment right now, those are my favorite six colorful palettes. I might do another video with my favorite neutral palettes, which probably is not going to be a very long video because I'm not a neutral palette kind of girl, but I have a few that I like. And then favorite, just maybe favorite singles in general. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever I feel like doing basically. But if you want to see something specific, let me know. Um, let me know what your favorite colorful palettes are, even though I am on a low buy this year. I still am kind of stockpiling a list for, I mean, I, I'm allowed to buy 20 things. So at some point I probably will be getting a new palette this year. I don't know, maybe. So if you have any colorful favorites that I didn't mention, I'd love to know about them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.